Yo, what's going on everybody? Need for Beats over here. In this video, I'm gonna go over the best settings for Warzone so you can get the highest amount of FPS and the lowest amount of input lag. So there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to different graphics settings. Um, there's a lot of bad information out there. So I wanna set the record straight and show you guys proof of how I get pretty high FPS with a 2070 Super and pretty much show you guys my settings and my way of optimizing this game. This game is definitely not very well optimized. It's pretty hard to get 200 plus FPS on there, but I managed to get a pretty good balance between FPS and quality so that you still have around 200 FPS for a 2070 Super, but you're not sacrificing too much of the quality. It's a lot easier to get higher FPS numbers like 200 plus FPS if you're playing Modern Warfare. So team deathmatch matches like Hardpoint, but if you're doing the Warzone, battle royale it's a big map so it's gonna be pretty hard on your gpu and cpu and i'm talking let's get into the actual settings this is what works best for me i know there's a lot of different opinions of what you should do but in my opinion this is what works best and i try to explain why i chose each setting so in this way i have display mode display mode i chose full screen borderless why if you do full screen then it, you have problems with tabbing in and out of windows full screen borderless is actually better because this game is running in dx12 if you have a gtx and an rtx card i think this game is gonna run in dx12 so dx12 doesn't have full screen exclusives if you try to disable full screen optimizations to this game and try to get it to run full screen exclusive it's actually gonna cause you a lot more problems so that's why display mode full screen borderless it works perfectly fine if you run in full screen you're not gonna notice any difference when it comes to fps the only difference you're gonna notice is not being able to alt tab in and out of your game and your browser window discord whatever else you're doing so Display monitor, display adapter, it's all the same thing. Render resolution, I dropped it down to 90. Now, if it kind of bothers you a little bit, the blurriness, you can put it back to 100, but I recommend 90 because in intensive situations, we have a lot of gunfights and you gotta move quickly. You know, we have like explosions and a lot of animations going on. Lowering the render resolution a little bit definitely helps out, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not really a big difference. The biggest difference is if you scroll down to uh, shadow and lighting, that's gonna be the biggest FPS boost you'll get. Disabling shadows and lightning. So render resolution, I put it at 90. Aspect ratio, automatic, sync and reframe. V-sync, obviously off because V-sync on is gonna be terrible for input lag. Custom frame rate limit, we don't limit our frame rate. Some people do like to limit the frame rate. The reason being, if you limit your frame rate to a stable frame rate where you get, let's say 144 and it's consistently 144, then you get a steady input lag. Yeah, if your frame rates bounce between 160 and 120, you might have less input lag at certain times, but the input lag is gonna be different, right? So it's gonna be inconsistent. So that's why people like to have a slightly lower but more consistent FPS number. So the input lag is more consistent and then their shots are gonna be more consistent. But in my case, um, I just want the highest amount of FPS, so mine is unlimited. NVIDIA highlights is going to be disabled. If you enable it, it's going to cause you a little bit of an FPS overhead because it's essentially recording your gameplay. So you're going to lose a little bit of FPS. So you definitely want to disable it so you don't lose any FPS. Reflex low latency. Again, you want to disable it. Enabling it, this is more for like laptops or maybe computers with integrated graphics cards or ones that don't have graphics cards, right? Older computers. But if you have a pretty new computer, you don't need reflex low latency. As soon as I disabled it, I actually got higher FPS in the game when i disable it both in the game and in the nvidia control panel i definitely got lower input lag and I also i got higher fps shaders leave it alone display gamma leave that this will help you get the best fps especially for newer cards streaming quality normal texture resolution you want the highest possible so we want high quality textures but we don't want to do any filtering or any anti-aliasing to them so this will make sure so that we're rendering high quality textures the, we're still enjoying the game it's still immersive we can still see everything it's not that blurry Tessellation, bullet sprays, particle quality, texture in isotropic, turn it off. Just copy these settings. And then this is the most important, disable everything in shadow and lightning. Disable it all because this is where you're going to have the most problems with FPS. If you leave it enabled, you're going to have a lot of problems. It's going to slow it down. You got to lose quite a bit of FPS. Yes, the game will look a lot nicer. But if you're looking for competitive settings, definitely turn it off. All right, so that's it when it comes to the actual game settings. Let's go ahead and switch over to the NVIDIA control panel settings. So for the NVIDIA control panel settings, what you want to do is you want to add the game. It should automatically uh, find it. If not, just go to your installation folder and add the program and just copy the settings I have here. Image sharpening off and this is tropic filtering application control. Now it's important that you choose application control because if you have an option in application to set the setting, in our case, we do have an option for um, anti-aliasing right here. 
anti-aliasing. See, we have an option, right? So because we have an option in our game for anti-aliasing, when it comes to um, our NVIDIA settings, we want to leave it application control. Same with anisotropic filtering. See, we have anisotropic filtering, texture filter anisotropic, right? So we'll let the application control it low. Now, I guess technically it could override it because the lowest option is low, but you can, I guess, technically turn it completely off. But I find that pretty unnecessary. and You're not going to get a huge boost in FPS out of doing that. So just copy these settings and support. If it's set to application control, set it to application control, not off. Shader cache is on. It, you can play around with some of these settings, but uh, you want to just start off with these settings and if you want to tweak him a little further depending on your system and see how you perform then by all means go ahead and do it these are my nvidia settings now the last thing i want to show you guys is just maybe a few tweaks and windows that you should and shouldn't do the first thing that you should definitely not do is go to your modern warfare.exe executable a lot of times when you start optimizing your game a lot of people will tell you to go to your installation folder for modern warfare go to the executable right click properties Go to compatibility and disable full screen optimizations. Do not do that. Definitely don't do that because that's going to introduce a host of issues and it's going to give you stutters. It's not going to give you any sort of FPS boost. Definitely don't do that. This might work if you're running in DX11, but for DX12, Windows has made so many updates to where they actually support games at DX12 and they have a special full screen exclusive mode for DX12 games. So don't disable these full screen optimizations because they actually do help your game. All right, guys, the next thing I want to show you guys is a few Windows optimizations you can do. First thing I would recommend you guys turn on game mode. When it comes to the Xbox game bar, turn off Xbox game bar. You don't want anything to do with that. But game mode, I leave it on. Learn more about game mode. So if you guys are wondering what the whole thing about game mode is, is when you use game mode, Windows prioritizes your gaming experience. When you're running a game, game mode prevents Windows updates from performing Java installations. Helps achieve a more stable frame rate depending on specific game and system. All right, so game mode is definitely going to help you. A lot of people use the method of trying to disable all sorts of optimizations, but this is definitely one that's going to help you. My opinion, I have game mode on. The Xbox game bar, definitely turn it off. Another thing I want to show you guys is in graphic settings. I turn hardware accelerated GPU schedule I turn it on reduce latency and improve performance so I turn my hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on definitely give this a shot if you're having any issues with stuttering or uh, uh, latency problems now, another thing you can do is in modern warfare you can go ahead and add the app under your graphic settings under the options set it to high performance you can let Windows decide but I choose to set it high performance obviously because we don't want to power save we want to get the highest amount of FPS so these are literally all of the the uh, optimizations that I have done for Warzone to achieve the frame rate that I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If these settings help improve your FPS, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. Need for Beans out. Peace.